Because you bring, you, you put this philosophy to work in your novel Atlas Shrugged. That's right. You demonstrate it in, in human terms in your novel Atlas Shrugged. And let me start by quoting from a review of this novel Atlas Shrugged that appeared in Newsweek. It said that you are out to destroy almost every edifice in the contemporary American way of life, our Judeo-Christian religion, our modified government-regulated capitalism, our rule by the majority will. Other reviews have said that you scorn churches and the concept of God. Are these accurate criticisms? Uh, yes. I agree with the facts, but not the estimates of this criticism. Namely, if I am challenging the base of all these institutions, I'm challenging the moral code of altruism, the precept that man's moral duty is to live for others, that man must sacrifice himself to others, which is the present day morality. What do you Since mean by I sacrifice himself for others? This now we're moment. getting to the point. One moment. Since I'm challenging the base, I necessarily would challenge the institutions you named, which are a result of that morality. All right. And now what is self-sacrifice? Yes, what is self-sacrifice? You say that you do not like the altruism by which we live. You, you like a certain kind of Ayn Randist selfishness. I uh, would say that I don't like is too weak a word. I consider it evil. And uh, self-sacrifice is the precept that man needs to serve others in order to justify his existence, that his moral duty is to serve others. That is what most people believe today. Well, yes, we're taught to feel concerned for our fellow man, to feel responsible for his welfare, to feel that we are, as religious people uh, might put it, children under God and responsible one for the other. Now, why do you rebel? What's wrong with this philosophy? But that is what, uh, in fact, makes man a sacrificial animal. That man must work for others, concern himself with others, or be responsible for them. That is the role of a sacrificial object. I say that man is entitled to his own happiness and that he must achieve it himself, but that he cannot demand that others give up their lives to make him happy. I and read. nor should he wish to sacrifice himself for the happiness of others. I hold that man should have self-esteem. 